Here locally, the service and hospitality industries have been hit really hard during this pandemic, but this city always steps up in a time of need. WDSU sports anchor Sharif Ishaq is working from home. He joins us live to tell us how the owner of the city's two pro sports teams is helping out tonight. Sharif. Yeah, Travers, Gail Vincent, who's a trustee at Greater New Orleans Foundation, and some big-time organizations are helping in a massive way, as in $413,000 in grants from its Louisiana Service and Hospitality Family Assistance Program to support employees who are struggling during this pandemic. We did it with key support from Mrs. Gail Benson and the McElhenney companies, the makers of Tabasco, that they gave us uh, the initial funding that we needed to get started. We were able to make 413 grant awards to 413 uh, families uh, who really needed that help. President and CEO of the Greater New Orleans Foundation, Andy Coplin, says in round one of the grants, each one of the 413 families received $1,000 each. In our region, uh, there are thousands, tens of thousands of people who have been affected and we couldn't help every one of them. We wanted to help those who were the most vulnerable, which is really low wage workers who are raising families and who are struggling to make ends meet even before the pandemic. The recipients are making an average annual income of $26,900 per year, raising between one and four children. And this includes Erica Brown, who's a mother of two, working in a New Orleans hotel. I just bust out crying and like I couldn't, I, I had faith that it was possible, but just to get the email, and I received the great news. It was like, wow, thank you, Lord. And the last month without a job has been, as expected for Brown, very tough. I'm so used to being around people. And, you know, like I said, the social distance things have been a little horrible for me, but I understand the, the, me the measures we have to take. And the second round of the grants will take place next Friday. And check out our story on WDSU.com to find out how you could qualify for those upcoming grants. In New Orleans, Sharif Ishak, WDSU News.